coming up, I'm going to show you how to change your power steering fluid, or in this case, exactly the same uh, active suspension fluid. Uh, this car in particular is a 5 litre uh, supercharged Range Rover V8. Fluid's the same, power steering fluid, Land Rover style cold climate. Now, when you buy the fluids, there's a date stamp on there. Make sure it's in within 12 months of being manufactured. Oil can get sediments in the bottom. A lot of stuff on eBay is cheap. You think you're getting a bargain, but it's old stock they're selling. Uh, this one was bought yesterday, and that one. Uh, that one's May 21. So make sure you've got new fluid when you're going to be doing. And what we're going to be doing is putting the old fluid into there. And I'll show you what colour it should be. And that's what we're taking out of there. That's the active suspension system. Yours would be the same on the car for power steering. Now it's very important with power steering fluid or any uh, fluids, make sure everything's clean around it. You do not want to get any contaminants in. Make sure it's all nice and clean, which it is. Now what we want to do is we're going to use a suction tube. You don't want to take all the fluid out because you get an air pocket inside where the uh, pump is. You want to take about maybe a quarter of a, uh, a litre. I'll do that. <clears throat> what we're going to do, put the suction tube in. We're going to draw a little bit out. <clears throat> That's probably all we want to take out at the moment. So we've got, we got that much out. These are brand new jars, by the way. Undo the top. Right, this fluid has been in for about 10,000 miles. It's so easy to do. Now what we want to do is take out double that amount. We don't want to be taking it all out because you do not want to get an air pocket in there. See how easy it is to do with a suction tube. All right, let that drain into there. Now, what we want to be using to fill it up, we've got a brand new uh, uh, filler container. Make sure there's no dirt on there whatsoever. Now, what I do on here, because you've got a container that's got minimum and maximum, if you put a high-power torch, put that into there. Now, with any torches, what I usually do is clip them onto a hose so they can't fall. So if it does fall, it won't go down anywhere. I've got a tie clip there to hold the torch. Now that illuminates the Max and Phil. Brand new tub. This is what we're using today. Now what you want to do is just fill it up to the uh, maximum line. But obviously you don't get any air going into the fluid. This is brand new power steering fluid. Just get it to the, uh, just over the maximum line, just a little bit. Have a torch because you can see through the plastic container then. Now what I usually do is let that sit for at least half an hour to make sure there's no air bubbles in it. Because obviously when the uh, pump's working, it will pump it around. You don't want to get any air in the system. Uh, what you want to do is put the, the amount in I've uh, put, showed you already. Don't take it all out, just put a little bit in. Take the car for a, uh, a run. Do about 10 miles. Go around some roundabouts so you put the power steering through its paces. You'll, feel, you'll know when you've used the power steering because when you get home, the, the fluid will be hot. Uh, this is what we've got. If I hold that up, can you see how black it is? Can't even see a torch through it. That's black. This has had uh, three flushes. That's black. And what I'm going to do is uh, do another flush. So 
that's been sat for at least uh, 30 minutes. I'm going to put the cap onto it now. Also, you make sure no contaminants get into there whatsoever. You have checked the uh, level, it's on maximum. The car's been stood for half an hour. So I'm going to go for another drive. Uh, there's some roundabouts about a couple of miles away. Go around the roundabouts three or four times. Get that fluid moving around the system and give it a flush. Right, well, just come back. This is from the uh, this is from the uh, fifth uh, fluid change. Going to suck it out. Don't want to be taking too much out. You just want to be taking the amount out. This is after five flushes, and this is the colour that you should be having. That's virtually brand new, and that's flushed the system out. I'll show you that in a minute with the torch. But you can see the difference between the colours. I'll get the torch in a minute. I'll just put that there. I'm going to put the top straight onto the reservoir. Put that onto there. Now, can you see the colour? Hold that to the camera. Probably get it right in that way. That's the colour which after five flushes gives you brand new. Uh, that was the first flush. See it's jet black. A little bit of green in there, but it's black. I think this was after number three flush. But what you're after, and you put that right in that way. Get it down that's what you're after pure green in fact i'll get the camera down a little bit i think you can there you can see you can see it there can you see the difference in colors so that's giving it a flush the whole system and your power steering fluid uh people forget they change the oil filter they change the oil they forget power steering fluid uh it's only a little bit of fluid. It doesn't last 60,000 miles, as you as you can see, it goes black. Black is with heat. Uh, it has to lubricate all the seals in the system. So there you go. That's an easy thing to do on your car. Now, again, on our cars, we do them every 10,000 miles. It's so easy to do. Suck it out, keep topping it up. As simple as that.